Yep. Time for another episode of Backyard Thrower. Well, this time, folks, I got a lot more blades to, to work with. Picked myself up a couple of sets of uh, Jack Rippers that are very similar in style and weight to my Skyhawks. A little bit lighter, so they throw a little differently. But I'm working on close knife groupings today. Um, unlike the, the trick with the cold steels where I'm trying to fit the larger knives between the smaller ones, I'm just trying to get as close a pattern on the board as possible without banging knives into each other and damaging tips. But let's see how it goes. See if I can keep from dropping the camera like I did in the previous video. That was slightly embarrassing. We'll see how that works. <laughs> Try that one at home. Thread it through the two knives. I am so glad I caught that on camera. Threading this knife here between this knife and this knife. One in a million shot for me because usually when I go between knives like that, I bang off the butt end of the handle and cause all sorts of issues like having to regrind a tip on the knife, etc, etc. But, that wasn't bad. Problem is, when you get them this close together, they don't want to come out of the board. Yeah, these, new, these new Jack Rippers, not bad, fairly cheap. Picked them up about, I want to say, fifteen dollars a pair, so about thirty bucks for the for the four of them. Always one that argues with you. Now, I was noticing when I took this one out of the package that the whoever was grinding it was in a hurry to go home. Not exactly the straightest grind I've ever seen, but nothing I can't fix with with a grinder here. This, even as heavy duty as this target is, I'm still managing to chew it up with just the with just the sheer amount of practicing that I'm doing. And now that I have more knives, <laughs> even worse. But I would have replaced several boards by now going with just the half inch pine that I used to be using. I don't know if that one even showed up, it was a fairly low shot. about the Jack Rippers also is they stick better than they need to. <laughs> Don't want to let go of the board.
last throw was a little wonky, but also hit a soft spot on the target. Now, like I mentioned in earlier videos, I wanted to work on my consistency. Well, I'd say sticking on average six out of seven knives is fairly consistent. Now we get to work on the accuracy. the needle. I'd say that pretty much proves my accuracy is getting better too. And we, and we managed to drop the phone again. Oh yeah, yeah. More to come guys.